Hey guys, welcome to Brute for Gaming. How are you guys doing today? Hey everyone, how are you? Thanks for coming on by to our stream today. My name is Buggies. I am taste tester number two. And next to me, I have Rayman244. And I am taste tester number one. I let him be number one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Buggies, let, let's. Uh... How's your week been going so far? It's been a crazy week. I did get my second COVID shot this week. I was down for the count for a day. It was pretty rough. <laughs> but overall, it was a pretty good week. I, I can't complain. I'm excited to be here. I feel like this week has been full of beer talk. Uh, there was a really cool NPR Nevada specifically article or podcast that had to do with how breweries are succeeding during the pandemic closures here in las vegas that's right so it was a really interesting listen we'll link it into it is beer time vegas for woo! <laughs> the best time is beer time <laughs> i'll link the podcast episode in our about us section later on after this stream so if you guys are interested in listening to it it's really quick i want to say it was like a 15 minute podcast but it's really interesting to hear from local people talking about how breweries are succeeding and hanging in there here in las vegas right now i did not listen to the podcast i did read um the little article that they had posted underneath mm -hmm. um and it kind of just summarizes you know how yeah. these small breweries are you know, thriving in this time of need. And it's, we've seen it um, quite a bit everywhere where, um, you know, they went from brewing big batches and, and then going down to canning small batches. So that way, you know, the beer um, stays a little bit more fresh and consistent. Yeah, that, and they weren't selling as much. They really did have to figure out how to make beer more accessible. Uh, to people since they, you know, drinking beer is a very social thing. And sometimes it's a, a spur of the moment, like a spontaneous thing too. People don't plan out weeks in advance usually when they want to go to the bar with a friend. So they had to figure out how to make that spontaneousness of grabbing a beer easier for the beer community. But um, one thing that I really noticed about the podcast was that it really did mention how the breweries were helping each other mm -hmm. to succeed, borrowing like the the crowler machines so that they can then uh, can their draft brews. And if you haven't seen a crowler machine, it's pretty cool. We checked it out over at Hop Nuts like a month ago uh, here in Las Vegas. It was really neat to see. I'd never seen that before. So yeah, the crowlers are pretty cool. Yeah, and speaking of that, I did see that there was you know, some small time breweries out in Texas that were um, collaborating together and you, kind of similar to what they do with like a food festival. They had a small beer festival where all these breweries gathered and had all the locals coming in and supporting these local breweries, which is kind of nice. Yeah. People really came together to help out. And it's not over yet. We still have to go out there and support our local breweries, wherever you may be, whether it's in Las Vegas, Nevada, or another state. Um, so if you are new to our stream, Brood for Gaming is all about drinking beer, having some fun playing video <laughs> games, and reviewing those beers along the way. We make it a point to make sure that we're featuring independent breweries and local breweries we want to make sure that we are highlighting all of the special things about small businesses uh, whether it's here in las vegas or throughout the u.s we have a special one today that is a very cool collaboration we'll get to that later uh, but yeah so thank you for being here and having some beers with us now if you are one of those people who was able to nab one of the beers we're drinking today go ahead and grab our f the first beer rayman you want to introduce it uh before we jump into the beers oh, did i mess up i kind of want to give a shout out to two people i know that had birthdays this week um oh, all right. 
One for sure is my cousin. Well, actually both are cousins. Uh, one out here in Vegas. Uh, we did see some history that um, they did a little bar hopping and enjoyed some crawl. brews. Yeah. They, they enjoyed some good brews, it looked like. Mm -hmm. And then another uh, cousin out in Texas. Another birthday out there. Uh, Matt loves pizza, so happy birthday hey. to both of them. Happy birthday, Matt loves pizza, and to your other cousin. Yeah, I did see that your cousin did some beer crawl last night. She went to Mad Fermentis, which mm -hmm. we had not been to before. Yep. They went to Three Sheets Beer... Oh, shoot. Three Sheets. I forget the rest of the name of the... Uh, yeah. And one other one I can't remember off the top of my head. But I was pretty jealous last night <laughs> as I was scrolling through social media like, What? Where's the invite? <laughs> We'll do our thing. We'll get there eventually. We right? will get there. We will get there. Yeah, we, we just have to say, okay, we're making the time to do this. <laughs> so, um, let's get back to our beers. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab our first one. Rayman, can you introduce it? I sure can. So, we will be starting with a 2021 Winter Coat um, by Stormbreaker. It is a beer um, that is made. Let me see. I had a little notes on this. Uh -oh, you didn't lose your notes. <laughs> I did, but I know th I know they're a small brewery out of uh, Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon, exactly. That's right. Now, I we have a couple friends in Portland, and I made sure to send them a note today saying, "Hey, your city is up on the stream today." So yeah, Stormbreaker Brewery in Portland, Oregon. Now, every winter holiday, they put out the Winter Coat Brew. It is a Christmas beer, so we were a tad late on getting this into our bellies. Well, we still got winter around the corner, so. It is pretty chilly still. It's really windy today. I just, I'm tired of the wind already. So tired of it. I think the image of the can is just simple, and it gets the point across, you know. It, it's like I said, I looking over some of their other cans, I, I do like um, the artistic value that they put into it. It's simple, and the colors they choose is just, uh, I don't know, I, I wouldn't say they would match, but they definitely stand out. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of my snowboarding jacket. And if, <laughs> if anybody knows me, they know the brighter, the better. Like, I don't mind standing out. And my snowboarding jacket is about these colors. It's pretty obnoxious. Add some pink into it, and then that's my jacket to a T. <laughs> so yeah, the winter coat. It is a winter warmer brewed with tangerine and cocoa nibs. So let me just go ahead and open it. Do you have any background on Stormbreaker Brewery, uh, Rayman? Um, I, I did see that they were... Um, it, well, it's composed of two guys who have... Um, a lot of dedication to small-time brewing and you know they 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 keep to themselves you know they 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 know what they want and they brew it a little one thing that i thought was pretty cool was how they got the name for their brewery stormbreaker brewery um uh, there the uh mount hood the 11,000 foot volcano near Portland is also called Stormbreaker. So that is how they decided on the name of their brewery. I think that's pretty... That is pretty neat. Pretty pretty smart of them. I did not know that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So it that Mount Hood, it blocks all of those storms. It breaks the storms that come in off of the Pacific Ocean. So yeah, protect Portland. <laughs> At all costs. <laughs> and it would be a volcano, right, that does that. Pretty neat. Passing you your beer. We look awkward when we do this. <laughs> yeah, so their names are Dan and Rob. And this beer specifically was crafted with, I'm going to say, I might be saying this wrong, the type of hops. Fuggle? Fugle? I don't know. F-U-G-G-L-E. This was a new one for me. I feel like Fuggle, which is funny because it's like Fuggly. <laughs> mm. um, and Sterling Hops, uh, Tangerine, Cocoa Nibs, Special Bee Malt, and Chocolate Malt. Take a look at this. Oh, my cup is a little ugly. Ew. I got like fingerprints <laughs> all over. I don't want to show it to you. It's all fingerprinty. Ew, yucky. 
You can definitely taste a little of cocoa. Can you see my Boom. It, it's even like a little red. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice looking. What's it smell like? I feel like I look a mess today. Let me just get <laughs> some light on my face over here. I want to smell it. Oh, that smells wonderful. Oh, boy. You know what? It kind of tastes similar to a red ale. <laughs> It does look good, brand 007. Oh my, it smells like malty and mm -hmm. it smells caramelly. I'm already like licking my lips. I just, I can't wait to taste <laughs> it. Wow. Now I'm having flashbacks to a time when I had a beer that smelled like this. And I remember being very happy enjoying that one. Okay, so I'm going to taste it. Did you already taste it? It did. Okay, what are your thoughts? I think this beer um, needs to warm up just a little bit. I, I feel like this, the taste is very subtle. Um, just does not stand out for me. I'm kind of waiting for that caramel taste. I Like I said, I do taste a little bit of the cocoa. Um, but like I said, I kind of get a red ale uh, aftertaste to it. I don't know if, if that makes any sense, but you know how some, like a red ale usually... Um, sits on the back of your tongue. That's kind of what I'm getting. It's specifically a winter ale. But I can see where you would say red ale, and that's probably from, like, the maltiness in there. Possibly. No tangerine flavor. And the caramel. I'm wondering, too, like, can I not taste tangerine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting the tangerine either. Mm -mm. I brushed my teeth like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so it shouldn't be the toothpaste being an issue. Let me drink some water. Let me see if maybe it comes in after I am. I don't know. Uh, it's not bad. I don't dislike it. No, it's not a bad it's beer. It's double negative. Right? I don't dislike it. Yeah, I like it. Um, you know, for 7.5 uh, here, not that, bad. Is that what it is? 7.5? Mm-hmm. ABV? Well, holler. Getting cr it's nothing like that 11.5 we had last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> nothing close to it. Not, nothing close. Oh, boy. We were having fun, weren't we? So how about we let this warm up a little bit, see if we get a little bit more uh, flavor, maybe yeah. taste some of the tangerine. That's fair. Okay, so, yeah, I, ugh, I wish I had more of that tangerine flavor. I'm not tasting it. No, no, okay. So today, we're playing some Borderlands 3. I sing it because Borderlands is like one of my favorite video games of all time. It's a top three. Over here, Vegas Brew 1 says, nice winter beer, no tangerine at all. You're drinking it too, huh, Vegas Brew? Nice. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Yeah, I feel so bummed out that I don't taste the tangerine. Maybe, Ray maybe Rayman is right, and that tangerine flavor will come through when it warms up a bit. It is a winter ale. It says a winter warmer, so maybe it needs to be warmer. Um, we'll see. Yeah, 3.75. That's a pretty good rating, I'd say. Um, that is a pretty good rating. I do feel a little warmer right here in my chest. Maybe it's just because <laughs> I'm just overflowing with thanks for the people who are on our stream today. You know, I think we need a s'mores and uh, to drink it around a a, s'mores? a fire uh, pit. We did get a little bit of a gift box today from Vegas Brew. Vegas Brew hooked us up uh, and Portuguese Hawaiian together. They hooked us up with some malasadas. So I feel like that's pretty close. Okay, what are we doing here, Rayman? I can't remember. So this is... Uh... One of the new game modes where essentially you are progressing through this, uh, 
I guess this map eventually you have to finish at the center where this red skull is at but this circle that's on the outside is ever moving um so we want to stay on the inside but the we stay in the circle or we wanna, get smashed correct and we also want to make sure that we're progressing and getting um unique <gasps> items that you would only find in this game mode okay so we're like on a timer here correct what you're saying okay so it's been quite some time since wow just my shot is just all off this is a terrible gun hey doink thanks for following hey what's up thanks for oh <laughs> that's what i get for looking at the computer <laughs> Zach, save me <laughs> oh, you're just oh, killing both of us i know oh this is just not good hold on he's almost down get him shoot him i ran out of bullets i died oh I feel like I am just unlucky right here. Okay, what? Do we come back to life? No, you no, have to you come save me. You stay dead. I do stay dead. Do you want to restart? <laughs> Should we restart? Because <laughs> we we just barely got going. I can pull you in. So wrong. Okay. Just save me. Gosh. I feel like it's been months since we played this game. It actually hurts my feelings a little bit. Sup, homies? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Sup, doink? 4674. <laughs> we're drinking here. So while I'm dead, I might as well just bring you in on the fun. So we're drinking here a winter coat from Stormbreaker Brewing out of Portland, Oregon. It's supposed to take like taste like tangerines and chocolate from the cocoa nibs i'm not tasting the tangerines but i do taste that maltiness which could be from the cocoa nibs it's not bitter like i like i expected it to be from the cocoa nibs uh, i was gonna say look at the map see where i can pull you up but i might be dying soon <laughs> no it won't, mm, you have a really good shield on I didn't get a good shield. Did you just pick that up? Yeah, it was in the box. You took the good shield, that's what happened. <laughs> no, it's all random. <laughs> there were two shields in there. They're like, here's your junkie shield. Have fun. Hope you survive. <laughs> I don't hate the beer. I just don't get that tangerine. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed about that. And we haven't had it long. We've only had it since January, so it's not like I've been holding on to it and it's changed the flavor. Uh, I can spawn you this way. Hmm. It says winters change and so do the coats. This one offers the same great taste with new features, including tangerine and cocoa nibs. It has the same great insulation of chocolate malt and special bee and as always, stuffed with again the word fuggle, fugle, and sterling hop. So we you are this. in. I see, I see. And we got a red chest here for anybody that has eco cast. If you have eco cast, do your thing. Where are you? There you are. Oh, of course, I ran right into it. <clears throat> Where are we headed, sir? Uh, anywhere oh, inside no, of the circle. Sniper rifles, but you know it is what it is. It's the same shield already. Oh, hey, okay, hey, hello. Okay. Take the wrong fight. There's like something <laughs> weird in my eyeball. There's so much going on. There's like a glitch of some sort. Oh. Boo. Do you see that? There's like a, like a. Like a <laughs> I do eye. see it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been shot. <laughs> oh, what is? All right, let's head into here. Okay. Where are you at? <laughs> I'm right here. I'm just hanging out with you. Ow, with this bullet in my eye. I guess it's a good thing I'm a robot. So yeah, this game it. mode, you don't have any um skills or whatsoever. It's kind of uh, bare bones. Yep. You strictly rely on the things that they drop for you. Punch. punch. And your own skills. Well, I mean... <laughs> at this point, I'm feeling like it's pretty minimal. Good god. I'm struggling here. I feel like my, my, my sensitivity is like... Too, I don't know. Too hot, too low? Too oh high. no! Oh, Rayman! Don't die, just keep shooting. Oh yeah, you got him. You good. You good! been a while since we played this game. 
a really long while. Oh, man. Just dying like crazy. Oh, like, you're, like, you're invisible. I'm invisible? No <laughs> wonder. Jeez, like, where are oh, my no. bullets at? Why? What is happening here? Are you up? Oh, man. Oh. Is my game, like, glitched out? It's like a PvE battle royale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Oh, this is. I think this is another revive. I feel like we need Rick Dog to come help us. And maybe Brand 007. All right, you're in. Oh, that was quick. Wow. I feel like it, it was a lot harder to, like, find the thingy to get us in. Last yeah, I'll luck on this one. All right, let's keep running down. No, I'm not in. Oh, you're not? No. I was, and then I wasn't. What happened? Oh. Did you leave me too soon? <laughs> I think it was a, just a little glitch. How weird. I feel like that is this game. With the bullet in my eye. How weird. <laughs> it's, it, it, it says you haven't played in forever. I haven't played in forever. They're like, I thought you were, were our friend. We miss you. You know who I really love in this game? I'm sure everybody does, if you like the game. Moxie. She's so cool. He's so pretty. Oh no. Oh boy, he's huge. Oh, is that a badass here? Okay. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, oh boy. That's rough. Oh, and they're all running away from me. Do you have any grenades yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Do you? Well, you can't throw them now. Oh yeah, yeah there's all the grenades. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Shoot him in the face. Where did he go? That's tough. Nope, nope, get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You're like, hold on one second, bad guys. I need to do a little <laughs> <shopping>. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, he was going down quick just from your... I really love the art of this game. The style of it. Yeah, I agree. For those of you who were watching last week, so we played Risk of Rain, which was an indie company who created... Oh, look at gold. Uh, Gearbox, the creators of this game, bought... Um, the risk of rain, right? They, or I think they supported the them. Mm -hmm. support. Yeah, so they're kind of like buds. I actually have a friend who works at Gearbox. Hooked me up with this awesome Borderland shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It's like one of my favorite shirts. All right. Gearbox has had their offices in, in downtown Las Vegas for what, maybe uh, four, five, three, five years? Yeah, yeah, possibly. All right, well, see if I can bring you back. I don't see one. I'm probably going to have to just hit the boss. Mm -hmm. You hit the boss. Have fun with it. My only hmm. extraction is that way. That's weird. All right, I'm running for the extraction. Okay, I'm gonna just drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas Brew, are you feeling any of that tangerine coming in? Now that you've had it for a little bit? I still am not tasting it at all. I think I ran in the total wrong direction. The arrow is pointing in the opposite direction of you, but the the purple thingy is on your left. Gotta run left. Oh no. <laughs> you can do it. Look at him. They're just hanging out like, oh, you wanna fight? No thanks. <laughs> Oh no, it's moving. it's moving. I ain't gonna okay, make okay. it. You're more in the center. No, but the, the... Is it outside of what the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, my extraction point. Got you. Might be pushing it. I might die. 
Well, you lasted about twice as long as I did, so. Oh no, where did I go? I went the wrong way? Over here. <laughs> yeah, so you want to get that gear out of the game. So when you play this game, if you get, say, a gold item, you have to go to the gear extractor to send it to yourself to use in the regular game. Fun, I gotta fight first. Pretty good gun there. Making popsicles, bad guy popsicles out of it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, I knew it. I'm gonna die. Oh, dog. Come here, dog. Oh, they're gonna run away from you. <laughs> there it is. Noise. Only can taste the cocoa nibs. Yeah, me too. Not to say that it's not a good beer, but when 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 they tell you a tangerine and coconut, what I was expecting was you know those oh what are they called those chocolate oranges where you would go bam on the table and they would like break apart. That's what I thought it would taste like, one of those chocolate oranges. Decisions, decisions. Alrighty, let's get this stuff out. You got two oranges? Got the three. Three? Uh, you can only take two. Well, make huh. sure you, get that. you have been depleted. All right, we got that. Now time to move. Good. Here comes Wait, the murder no, king. That white circle. Yeah. That's what it looked like out here a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it sure did. <laughs> Trees were blowing down. Roofs were caving in. Lucky nobody in our neighborhood had any issues. Alright, should I hit the boss now? Do it. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, look at this guy. Hey. Puke. Gag. Mm. <laughs> it's crazy because on, on my view of you... Mm-hmm. I'm in the snow. The, yeah, the storm is pretty <laughs> bad, but you must have some really good goggles because your vision is not obscured whatsoever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where did him go? Oh, look at him. He's like, ooh, what's that? Did you throw a toy? <laughs> I threw a grenade. Oh, did he get it? He, he has it. He, he, he like ate it or something. I don't know. He like, he went after it. That's cool. It was weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> He's like, ooh, yum. <laughs> they just, they just There's need a friend to play with. Too many friend. in here. <laughs> They're very loving. They're gonna get you. Yeah, they are very loving. They're like, oh, nobody wants to play with us because of the weather. There you go. Ah. It's even harder because I'm playing on a, like a tiny screen. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I have this giant TV and he's like, meow. I'd love to show you what he's looking at versus what I'm looking at. It's a little unfair. I really should have not died with this giant screen to look at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe uh, it's a little payback for last week because you kept dying first. It is possible. <laughs> All right, heading the boss. Okay. Do you have one of each element? I don't. Uh, we'll figure it out. I so saw you have the cryogenic. What else do you have? The cryo. I thought I saw you had acid. Uh, oh, that's a no. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. Oh, here's another red chest. Oh, look at that. Red chest, echo cast. Pick it up. You can do it. Brandon. Nothing. Brandon oh, I appreciate the the faith. Uh, your shoes are cool. You got some cool kicks on. This what gets me going. <laughs> Alright. And sure. Was that corrosive? No, that's not corrosive. That's radiation? 
Radiation's always good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Make some adjustment real quick and I'll jump right in. I don't think I need two sniper rifles, do I? Mm-mm. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, this game mode is definitely easier with uh, more people. I will agree there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got you. A lot more people gun. pick you up when you fall. Great, because I didn't have enough to deal with already. All right, in we go. Mm -hmm. Wish me luck. Good luck. Not the I gun I want it. It's a pretty good beer. Ooh, it's like a laser beam. You know what it looks like in Harry Potter when they do the spells and like they're being <laughs> when they're fighting each other. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I agree. Isn't it? <laughs> Have I a cadaver? But I feel like I'm I'm playing as Voldemort with the color. That's okay. I mean, he's a pretty powerful wizard. That dies. Not right away. He had a very long run. Oh my goodness. He does die eventually, but... Look at him go. Ooh. Oh no. Come on, Rayman. Oh. Oh boy. Getting serious in here. For real? Good one. Ah. <laughs> I like how he's on the floor like, I'll get you! Very much like, I turn the caps. <laughs> ah. Where'd he go? I... Dead, right. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I went to make him make sure he was super dead. Super dead. Really dead. You're not oh. dead until oh. you're dead dead. Oh, gosh. Out of grenades. Mm-hmm. Gotta be some somewhere in a box. There you go. All right. You get in there. Nope. <laughs> I'm always surprised they just like stand there and take it. <laughs> they really do. Like, he's like, oh, let me just try to get out of the way, but he doesn't like go anywhere. I am he's halfway like, there, brand double seven. Don't look at the chat, focus on the game. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing engaging our viewers? <laughs> ah. All right, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh no. Look at that man. Oh that no. Furry coat. Oh no, you're fine. You'll get this guy too. Pow. Yeah, see? I like how confident that guy is. He's like, what? Bop, 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 bop. Did you run out of juice on that one? No, I was trying to switch to different. Oh, someone blew him up. Not me. <laughs> Are they killing each other now? I like this gun's not strong anymore. It's not. Are you? I don't. I don't think you're on the right gun. Are you trying to do the cryo gun or the? Cause that's not this one. This oh, the other one. Bullets. There you go. That's the one you want right there. I felt like it wasn't doing enough damage. Uh, more than the other one, sadly. Yeah. What about the freeze ray? <laughs> I don't have that one. You got rid of him? It's it was a sniper. Oh oh. Look at his eyes. Oh no. Look, he's already ahead of the game. He's got X's for eyes already. Perfect. All right, where's the boss? There you are. <laughs> got six grenades. We're gonna make them count. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's so almost dead too. 
Ah. Victory! Oh, good job! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Recovery win. Look at the loot. Loot, loot, loot. <laughs> good job. You know what? You do you. Uh, we pulled that one out. For the Echo Cast viewers, when you beat the boss, do they get something also? Uh, you know what? In this game mode, I'm not entirely sure. I know it's mm -hmm. new. Victory! Brand 007 says victory! I know they added a new extraction mode if you have your account tied to it. Oh, I see. So I think when I extract um, items, they also can extract the same oh, thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you want to tell us if you guys got something in Echo Cast? Yeah, most Let definitely. Yeah. Here's to find out. Yeah, what did you get? Anything good? Anything good? Because I ain't getting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I got squat. Got three things coming out. That's pretty good. Yeah, nice. I thought that was a piece of pizza at first. Uh, one of them did have- it looked like a piece of pizza. <laughs> that was that down right. And the top one looks kind of like a donut. You know what I should have done while I was sitting here being dead? I should have grabbed one of those malasadas. <laughs> True. Shucks. Missed opportunity right there. I thought I had a pizza. There's the pizza one. There's, it looks yeah, like it kind of looks like a pizza. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Well. Ready to review victory this on victory on that one. Yeah. So I'll yeah, take good it. Job. Way to just do everything all by yourself. <laughs> 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 I was alive for like a minute and a half. Yeah. That's just too bad. Okay. All right, so we're jumping right back on over to our Winter Coat 2021 by Stormbreaker Brewing out of Portland, Oregon. And it said it should taste like tangerine and cocoa nibs. I did not taste the tangerine. Perhaps my palate is just not as advanced as some other people's palates. You know, I got to say, though, as it's warmed up, flavors changed like i get a little bit more of a dusty buzz on the oh you have i do okay that's good oh so i i think maybe that's a tangerine coming out i don't know mm. um but it definitely does not have that you know flat cold taste that it initially had okay so i think okay, that's fair. i think it, as long as it warms up a little bit i think um gotcha. the flavor kind of comes out Got you. Now, the Storm Stormbreaker Brewing, I I believe they won an award for this beer. Correct. So, I mean, people do believe that this is a good beer. It is a good I, beer. I see you actually have quite a bit still in your cup over there. Mine well, is empty. You know, some of us were actually playing the game. This is true. That is what happened. I had time to drink. Okay. Now, what what would you say the rating for this one is in in your opinion? You know, would you drink this again, or would you allow it to get to room temperature and maybe give it another try? Mm. I would drink it again. It was not a bad beer. It to me, I don't have the tangerine flavor, but that's okay. I don't mind it. I feel like the maltiness, uh, sort of the caramel um, taste that I get from it was enough to satisfy me. I would probably give it a, a three and a half. So I'm pretty close to you, Vegas Brew. You said 3.75. I say a three and a half. Three and a half is pretty good. Yeah, I it, mean, was, it was still a solid beer. I mean, um, no, it wasn't bad. No, it's not bad at all. No, yeah, I, like, I still liked it. At oh, first... Yeah, at first, I was kind of leaning maybe 275 because, like I said, I was not getting a whole lot of flavor initially. I was, mm -hmm. I mean, the can specifically says tangerine, and you're like, oh, okay, here we go. You know, we're going to yeah. get a little bit of a, a tangerine flavor, and yeah, kind of disappointed. But as the beer warmed up, I can actually say that, you know, the beer got better. 
um mm -hmm. i enjoyed it a little bit better especially now i mean like you said i still have a little bit left over um yeah <laughs> are you gonna drink the rest of it i am it's it's okay. it's good it's uh i was just worried about you well you know <laughs> i worry about a lot of things <laughs> but um honestly i would give it like a 3.25 just because i did go up from that you know so i would say yeah the flavor um changed and it got better but i would so drink it again Portuguese hawaiian says you could put a wedge of tangerine in your glass that is like, true that's actually a pretty good idea like like blue moon you put an orange in there right? an orange peel yep like, like a like a slat a, a splash of maybe orange juice and and maybe this would have done it i don't know how that would taste but yeah that's a that's a great idea it's definitely food for thought for next time really maybe maybe next time we'll have some uh little sides and mix it up a little bit maybe wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so yeah 3.25 for me and you said 3.5 for you i yep 3.5 that's not bad that's not bad um you know what like i said for it being a 2021 uh brew it's not bad mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah it's it's there's room for improvement how about that i agree mm -hmm. okay so i'm trying not to sneeze <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're jumping into our second beer. Here we have the Nakin. Let's crack a lack of Nakin. The Nakin 2.0. 2.0. So this beer was first brewed six years ago by Siren Craft Brew. Correct. Yes. So there was Ryan. He used to work for Siren Craft Brew, which is out of Walkingham, United UK, Britain. And he has since come back to the U.S., started a brewery with his wife called Casita Brewing Company. Mm, that's right? correct. <laughs> now stop, stop me at any point when i mess up the no facts. it's okay so now this brew was a collaboration um with simon craft brew um and omni polo, polo. Omni polo. so yep. you know it, they are bringing back um an older brew and putting a kind of a, a new modern twist to it yes yes that's also what i learned about this beer now casita brewing company is from farmville north carolina like I said, Siren Craft is from the UK, and Omnipolo is from Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden. So this is a truly international beer, which is pretty neat. Uh, so Casita Brewing Company, the wife, Mahalia, she is the actual owner. So it's a woman-owned, uh, minority-owned brewery, which is pretty cool. You don't hear a lot of that. When you think the brewer or the owner of a brewery in your head do you not see a man like there are not enough women in charge of things in, in the brewing industry so i think that was pretty cool um so you go girl and omnipolo they are named one of the 15 most important breweries in europe which is pretty cool if i was one of the 15 most important anythings in anywhere, <laughs> I'd be pretty excited. <laughs> I agree. Now, let's talk about this, the can art. The, yeah, the can, super unique. When we first got it, I was kind of, I saw the face, but as you look yeah. Um, yeah. a little bit closer, you start seeing that there are different mm -hmm. pieces. There's fish um, all over uh, that are making up this photo. Kind of cool. And then looking over their website, I mean, a lot of their cans are very similar. Yeah, I, I yeah, I see there. There's like a lobster in there. There's uh, like squid tentacles or octopus tentacles. I don't know. There's tentacles. <laughs> it's, it's really cool, and and it's it's almost weird because you get like the sea theme from the label, but there's nothing in this drink, in this beer that speaks ocean side ocean creature flavors 
Um, it is a Hefeweizen. Now, did you know that um, the Casita Brewing Company, they actually do a lot of, uh, uh, like, paying it forward to different charities? I saw that. 25% of the tips that they receive go to charity every single month. Right. Now... now I said tips, and when I first read that fact, I went 25% of the tips. So what you're saying is it's not even like 25% of the sales. It's like the people who are serving are like, thank you for your $5 tip. Let me just give away half a quarter of that. But they did mention that all of their bartenders make at least $10 an hour. Uh, the owners of Casita actually... 10 bar as well and they do have celebrity bartenders who come in every so often as well yep. um, to help 10 bar and to help with the the tips and the charity donations so 25 percent is quite a lot i mean if you figure okay if you're a good tipper like i am if you have you know a hundred dollar bill at the end of your time there i mean 25% of $20 is pretty sweet. It's true. It is true. And, it, you know, every little bit, you know, makes a big difference. Yeah. And it, it yeah. goes, it's like like we say all the time, you know, supporting these small breweries, it, it does make a big impact, you know, for them either closing their doors or um, allowing them to remain open. A lot of them have um, transitioned from... People coming into their breweries, um, partaking in beverages and food, and now they've had to transition into, you know, canning everything and um, mainly doing um, takeout orders. So yeah, yes. it makes a big difference. Now, this Nakin 2.0, it's a Heffy, is that correct? Heffy Wizen? That's right. So big expectations about this one especially for it being a collaboration i really really love my hefeweizens and maybe anybody who knows me knows i love my heffies donuts and heffies right <laughs> um, those, those belgian beers heffies all of it um so for me i'm excited because it's we're having international brewers getting in on this collaboration I expect that there's just years and years and years of experience that went into making this brew. I agree. Um, you know, it's made with Pilsner malt, wheat and flaked oats, Simcoe, Amarillo, Citra, and Galaxy hops. So it's chock full of all kinds of stuff. And what is the percentage on this? Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember, but I, I can definitely pull that up for you. It's a 7.8. EV. And the one we just had was a 7.5, I believe. Okay, so we're, we're pretty much staying steady on that. Correct. One. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Two consistent beers. I'm, I'm passing this over to you. So, right off the bat, just a quick sip get a little bit of uh almost tangerine flavor how oh, weird um kind of get a little bit of hoppiness um hoppiness flavor i guess i would say it, you can taste the hops um more than likely i, I guess you would t you would taste the the maltiness um but uh, there's a little bit of citrus in it i i can definitely taste the citrus Mm hmm <laughs> oh, I'm muted. Oh, you didn't hear any of what I just said. Okay. Nope. The, the cup is this far from my nose, and I can smell the passion fruit from here. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, boom. That's right. I forgot you did mention those passion fruit. It <sighs> Oh boy, this is a nice thing. Take your first sip. Mm. You'll you'll definitely enjoy it. Am I, am I gonna be happy? You will. Um, like I said, you do get a lot of uh the maltiness flavor in the back of of the drink, mm. but you do get like an 
citrus pa uh, passion uh, taste at the, at the very beginning. It doesn't smell like a Hefeweizen, but it does look like a Hefeweizen. If you can see it here, it's you know, like a little bit cloudy. Yours, yeah, your... yeah, it's like that banana color. Oh, it kind of fades out because I'm... I kind of feel like we need a orange yes. peel now. No, do you? <laughs> Does it need anything really? Okay, let me take it. No, it doesn't need anything at all. Um, just saying that because usually with a Hefe, um, that's... You know, I've, I've known a lot of bartenders who put a piece of orange peel inside. What do you think? I think it's complex. Sometimes you have a beer and it's very straightforward. It's like coffee and chocolate. And you go, yep, taste the coffee and chocolate. You know, I, I'm kind of curious to see what... Um, the one back in the day tasted like if this is collaboration i'm kind of curious what um the previous one tasted like not only that but it was made by a brewer that was from england you know he's a professional brewer that's been doing this for a long time now i have to say upon tasting it it doesn't taste as much of passion fruit as i expected it to because of the scent of the passion fruit mm -hmm. but you, you taste the citrus, like you said. Ooh. You taste the citrus, definitely. I feel like the citrus is definite. It, it, it's like the forefront. But it's light. Yeah, do you, do you get that malty flavor, though? <laughs> I'm guessing no. Are you, are you still trying to it's, taste it? It's... I... In this case, I wouldn't say malty. I would say bready. Oaty? Like an not like oats. No. Like, like like a like banana bread. No, oh, like, see. Like, but not banana. It's uh, it's closer to what you would get like with an IPA, I feel like. Maybe, the hoppiness. Maybe, oh, there are like the flaked oats mm -hmm. in it. So okay, yeah, maybe that's why I say bread, but I think Yeah. Weird. Mm. I know, I and you're you're correct by saying it's complicated because that's it. It really is the flavor profile is really complicated. Um, complex, not complicated. I mean, yeah, maybe complicated, but definitely, yeah, compli There's a there's a, a stacking of flavors going mm -hmm. on here. I'm kind of curious to see what happens when it warms up just a tad. Mm -hmm. You know, just to kind of see if it does change like uh, the previous one that we just had. Um, and, and see if it gets better. Now these beers, we are keeping them cold, um, mm -hmm. drinking them um, at a decent uh, temperature. Mm -hmm. And then we do allow them to get a little warmer and see if, you know, maybe the, the brew gets, you know, changes a little bit. Yeah. Evolution asks, have you heard hey. of a Cascade Brewing? Ooh, Cascade Brewing. Uh no evolution where are they from i'm writing it down right now and thank you for popping in yeah thanks for joining us nice today to see you here today yeah now i don't know if you were here evolution i think you could appreciate this it smells so much of passion fruit like it was kind of like a zing it was like whoa like it blew me away it's okay it's okay evolution it's okay, evolution. It's okay. It's okay. you're here it's all that matters. Our second beer, so you're okay. <laughs> so what do you say? Should we jump into another uh, round? Are you going to redeem yourself this time around? God, I hope so. Evolution, you missed it. I died like a minute in. And I'm just going to blame it on rust. <laughs> okay, let's give it a go. Cascade Brewing. No, I have to I have to check it out. Are we back in? Okay. We are back in. <laughs> As I'm running, staring at the ceiling. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna do better. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'm getting uh, stretched. Stretch those this. muscles. Yep. Flex, flex. You gotta flex. Flex? Um, <laughs> yeah. Alright, you ready? I don't have a lot of muscles. Yeah. I did do a little, like, beat saber yesterday. Like, I worked out, right? I don't know if that's building muscles or not, but I worked out. Like an hour. 
<laughs> Let's jump for the green ball. Here we go. Maybe if I get like a ball or shield like you did when you first jumped well, in. You gotta ball. come. Holy smokes, what is happening? You it gotta just, like, come grab these guns. The Where are you? I'm sorry, I don't I was down there in the skags. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, this is a charge up gun. Face, man. Ooh, I'm like McCree with this popping off pistol. Alright, don't die in the first five seconds, please. I You got both weapons, right? Do. So evolution says he thinks uh, they are out of uh, Portland. Oh, cool! We just drank a Portland beer too. Good. Uh, from Stormbreaker Brewing out of Portland. So, if I can get the hookup from from one of our friends out in Portland, I will see if they can send us a beer from Portland. Now, a lot of breweries do not ship beers out of state. So, th I mean, that's kind of the tough thing, and I think that's why we like Tavor so much because they have the opportunity to acquire those beers from breweries and then ship it out themselves. Now do keep in mind that Tavor only secures a limited amount of cans. So once they are out, they are out. Yes. Yes, you really do have to hop on it too. When when you see something you like, you can't think about it. You just buy it. <laughs> I I did that yesterday, and I was I saw one that looked really cool, and I immediately went, "Gosh, I gotta have that." And then I went, mm, "But do I have to have that?" <laughs> like Christmas in February. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, this charger. Going back to that podcast i would oh i just like chucked the grenade straight at his chest <laughs> uh the npr how beer is succeeding breweries are succeeding in las vegas right now mm -hmm. one of the guys goes <laughs> he, he's talking to the owner of a brewery and he says so are people spending more money on beer now than they used to <laughs> <laughs> and, and i was like shh <laughs> And the guy goes, well, I'm not going to rat out any of my customers to their wives. And I went, that was a really smart move, man. <laughs> <laughs> but now than ever, you know, I think craft beer is becoming a thing just because there are so many new and upcoming breweries. I mean, Vegas alone has, you know, increased a lot. Yeah. I mean, Henderson I think has gone almost a whole, like, district you got downtown las vegas yeah. well downtown yeah i want to say there's at least three brand new uh breweries just in you know southern well las vegas and henderson astronomy ale works is just celebrating their one year anniversary this weekend it's which that. is really great uh we need to stop over there and grab an anniversary <laughs> beer for our next stream because I don't know if you guys know this, but it's our wedding anniversary next week. So we are on the lookout for some anniversary beers. Yeah, and it's amazing. You know, one, one of the breweries opened up in September just this past year. Wait, he's just laying down on the job over here. Um, yeah, so it's, it's amazing. I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to say something and then I forgot. I don't know, but... Uh, I know. Uh, oh, the spending money thing. Oh. Yeah, Tavor. So Tavor costs a little bit more, but. So what you're saying is you spend a lot of money. <laughs> I've cut back on other things. Is that better to say? Like, I canceled my cricket subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Less crafting, more craft beer. <laughs> oh my That's gosh. Fair, right? Now. Gosh, this guy's like my uh, my cousin in uh, San Diego says that you know there's tons of breweries. We definitely have to reach out to them and and see. If, oh no, I'm gonna die. Evolution says congrats on our wedding anniversary. Oh, oh I see you yeah. over there. Let me try to save your life. Oh, what? as I crouch here, let me try to help you. Oh, oh this oh, is God, gonna be all you. you. No, it can't be all me. All man. you. Oh, you cannot die. Can I run away? No, I have to do this, don't I? <sighs> yep. Oh no. Well, you're like the least alive, so let me just shoot you. It's not gonna work. Letting down our viewers. They they want gear. They want they want what? They want gear. Gear. Oh gear. God, I know. Ecocast. 
Thank you, Evolution. <laughs> As we're both Oh, we've been defeated. Let's give it another go. Let's give it another quick go. <laughs> it's true. I had to play the whole match the other time around. You did. You did it on purpose if you drink the beer. <laughs> I, I think that's... In the back of my head, that's really what I wanted to do last time. I was like, play games, drink beer. Definitely but guess what? Beer. I actually won. He did beat it. I was a champion. Matt that loves pizza. Help. Thanks for the follow. Yeah. Matt loves pizza. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, sir. Thanks for joining us today. Happy, happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Hey. Cheers, man. Cheers. Happy birthday. He's 21 now. Oh, we're gonna. So, so he could actually drink with us. Now. We're gonna have to uh, invite him to the stream. We should. Mm -hmm. We can invite him to a little birthday. Show. All right, are you oh, ready? The button. Yeah, I'm just hanging out. All out right. Here. Most definitely. I like, There's... I like that you're the girl character and I'm the boy character. What are you trying to say? I like that gender is not a problem here. <laughs> Equality! <laughs> My girl is kind of stuck. I would like to disappear with you. Oh, there I go. Oh, that's the most romantic thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> I too would like to disappear with you. <laughs> you gotta grab your guns. I don't even know where the box is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think I just made Rayman blush. Oh, this is a good one. Let's. Do I make you nervous? Uh, let's go hit the same place. We didn't even finish that one. No, I didn't. I can't wait till I turn 21. Evolution! <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you your first beer. Oh my gosh. Are we skipping him? Are we just running past it? We, we can. Oh we man, I gotta. What are we doing? I gotta. He's huge. No, oh, got him. Just get him. Got just get him. Slow. We're killing him? Okay. My gun is just shooting like a million times a minute. Yeah, and mine is not. Oh, there's a guy over here. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. I don't ever want the box of the guy. Where is he? Oh, God. Oh, I throw my gun when I reload. I... That's what I'm chucking. And I'm like, I'm not doing right I got him. I got him. Oh, where are you? I'm down on the floor. Oh, again. Yes. I got really confused because I'm like, why am I throwing grenades? I don't want to throw grenades. I'm throwing my gun when I reload. Well, that's just the best type of gun. Just get close to them and sh chuck your gun at them once yeah, it's done. Yeah, well, yeah. Or just I'll just keep reloading to just chuck guns. Be I beneficial. Oh, oh god. Oh, uh, they changed it. Oh, Not are this. you seriously? Where are you? Yes. <laughs> is, is this the way the game mode's gonna go? Cause this is not pick me up. <sighs> oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Gun, 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 gun. You're mine. Wait, at gun. the first, at the beginning, did you say this was your favorite game? Borderlands, the original Borderlands, was like <laughs> my favorite game of all time. Now, don't you get snippy with me, sir. <laughs> this is a fun gun. Pow, pow. Oh boy. I don't want none of that. Get Eat out of some. Here. Oh, you have. A How did you get another cool laser beam gun, Harry Potter? Gee. I'm the bad guy. Cause you're the bad. Yes, yes you are. Oh. Just, I'm just gonna stand here and shoot him. Oh, come on, shoot. Don't. What is this? Oh, here we go, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Did you get anything from that box that was I opened? Um... Um... Green no. one. Did I not see the box? Did yeah, you the probably box? missed. I did miss the box. I don't see it. Back. Murder oh, King. Box. There's that one, and then there's this one over here. Oh, shoot. Hello. Okay. We're just running with a full pistol build here. Aye. Obviously. You don't want to do that. You want to get like something fun. different. No, I know. I'll fix it in a minute. I'm just joking. What is this? Junky gun. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Where are we headed? Wherever you're ready, we can go towards that purple dot. Purple dot. You got it, sir. Ew. I don't like that at all. 
Uh, we got a green guy right there. I don't know what that guy. Oh, badass, badass viewer event. Oh, who is Yo, this? Who yeah, took over this guy? Yeah, who took him over? Say hi in the chat if it's you. You can see his name. Who is it? Spider Ant Emperor. It says someone can take it over. Somebody can take it over and and make it do bad things to us. Yeah, you hit the three next to. I oh, believe these are the ones that you got to shoot in the butt. Not like last. Yeah, the viewers can take over that guy, That's and they fun. make it stronger. Who's Who's taking it over? Somebody's got Oh it. no, oh! someone killed me. That was cra- ah! Pick me up. I'm uh, trying. I'm running. I'm gonna, gonna die. Oh. No, you're not gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh. <laughs> what, are you still alive? Nope. Oh, it killed you. <laughs> he said no. Oh, goodness. Okay. You better kill him. Come on, you I'm gotta trying, keep shooting. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I don't see you shooting. I am shooting. It's like a lot of reloading. It's ridiculous. Oh, Change a different gun. Oh my god, you're shooting between his legs. Doesn't have anything there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Too bad, yeah? Wow. Uh, you're letting down our okay. viewers. So, new rule, Rayman. Mm -hmm. The night before we stream, we need to practice the games we're going to play. <laughs> I beat the game once. Yeah, you did. But I need a little help a here. Team. All right, one more time. One more time. I still got some beer in my... In my in, you do? I do. We got some time. You have, like, a lot more beer than me. Keep dying, and I keep coming back. This music is fun. Oh, why am I not hearing? <laughs> Brand is Brand 007's laughing at us. I see that. You know what? You're a bunch of noobs. If he was in this game, I'd like to see him too. <laughs> All right, let's grab some fun here. All right, which way are we heading? Make this one worth it. Let's go to the purple one. Let's do it. Right across it. Let's actually win. This one. This one for sure. I like it, Brand Double Seven. I'm gonna jump on in because they ain't gonna get us. Oh, there's another badass in here. You guys can take it over. Where is he? I think he's behind us. It is behind us. We ran away from it. Do you want to go to it? Do you guys want to take it over? Here it goes. Ah! Get out of here. If I wanna. I don't know either. Look at those criticals just popping up on the screen. Look how good we are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if crit is everything on this one. Crit is everything. <laughs> Did anybody take it over? I don't know. I ain't heading that way. Oh, let's cool. let's go kill the red. Let's get our red chest. Okay. There's an ant following you. God, why am I so slow? Are you crouching? Yes. Some weird. <laughs> I'm having some mobility issues here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Crouch if you want a beer. I do. Meow. Hey, guys. I don't know. I guess he died already. Oh, there oh, they are. There we go. Whoa, they got bombs. Big bombs. Oh, wow. My this grenade didn't like even go anywhere. This the slowest reload ever. It's not a bad gun. It's just a reload. Uh, like look at him he's like tossing the clip in the air like you're a bartender <laughs> like you're not making a mixed drink man just put the put the clip in the gun <laughs> <laughs> very flashy over there i am I'm like come on mr robot man let's go i'm getting shot <laughs> don't you have an animal that helps uh, well, he's a skill, isn't oh, he? Oh, so, he is. So you can't utilize him unless you wow, have your skill tree uh, built I know. out. That's true. I'm down. If you can just... Oh, my okay. goodness. Never mind. It's cool. I got myself up. I can save myself. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of a... Ooh, a shield improvement here. Okay. A two on your left. Ooh, money. Two on my left. 
my other left, apparently. I'm just gonna spot. Ammo. I do not want to get caught in that murder cane. Murder cane. Oh, your your character is afraid of the weather. Sure am. <laughs> She's like, I didn't dress for this. I need my winter coat. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I guess it was probably a good beer to have today, the winter coat, if we're talking about theming our beers according to the games we're playing. Because we're running away from a, a storm. Maybe that's why I won, because I, you know, I, ha I was having that winter coat. And I didn't. Or maybe it was the lack thereof. <laughs> the lack thereof. <laughs> I should have grabbed my real winter coat. <laughs> I think any, I think logger any has the best effort. Logger. Logger. Vegas Brew, can you, I think maybe autocorrect uh, Mestia you, uh, your comment up there. Logger any? Logger, Lagunitas? <laughs> I know that's not what you meant. Oh, here's the badass. He has the best Hefeweizen. Let's see if anybody takes him over. Oh, hey. Boom, 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 boom. Germany. The Germany. Germany. Yep. Oh, oh, Germany. Yes, yes. That must have been an autocorrect on that one. <laughs> Why autocorrects Germany? Like, it's a proper noun. Phone. Nobody wants to take over the bad, bad ass. Okay. Oh, gosh. I'm down. Ooh, spider. Kill this guy right here. Kill this guy right here. Over here. Right. Okay. Or not. Boom, boom, boom. I'm trying. I got him. This is a really slow gun in this one. Gotta succeed on this one. It, it, we really do. We have something to prove here. Alright, we, go. we got him. Alright. Good job. Door should be open. Sir. What do we have here? Sniper. Alright, so one red chest first. Open that up. Did you. Okay. Get that time. There's a blue gun for me. Hmm. Stop shrinking. Nope. Hmm. Uh, not the greatest. Sadly, not much of this is an upgrade. The green chest. Hmm. Ooh, a gold one. I heard that. Take it. All right, airdrops are available. Let's see. Okay, Germany. Mm -mm. <laughs> Drops are on the Okay. Or way that way. Alright, right behind you. Oh, grab some ammo. <laughs> cool. What's happening? Are you okay? <laughs> Good, I'll just... Oh my goodness, this guy. Kind of surprised on how my gun shoots. Kind of low oh, really? and very explosive. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I like it. I gotta get it out of this guy's way. It's like the Hulk. Yeah! There you are. Oof. Oh my gosh. gosh. No, no, no. <laughs> Get that eye. Got it. Go. I got it. Okay. The eye in the sky. Oh. oh fire. Not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Reload, Vegas Bruce said. Reload. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoot off screen. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew. 
Mm, that doesn't look good at all. Throwback to, what was it, Time Crisis? Yeah. Tell me, okay, you know Time Crisis was a fun game. It was also uh, House of the Dead. You said that. Yeah, House of the Dead. Oh gosh, I'm about to fall down. Can't reload. Oh, help. I'm down. I don't have anybody in my view. Oh, let me get the eyeball. Where are you? Next to that chest that just had. Oh, but the guy's right next behind you. Behind you, behind you, behind I'm you, behind you, behind you. Thing. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. I'm down. Where are you? The eyeball's behind you. You could probably get him. I should have just stuck on the eyeball. Yeah, right. To, uh, no, to your right. Up right there. Yep, right there. He's there. like, yep, there you go. That's who I was shooting. And you're like, shoot the guy behind me. I'm like, okay. And I was like, that guy has like way more life. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Yep. Change my plan. <sighs> House of the Dead 1 and 2 was a fun game. It really was. Wasn't it on Wii? House of the Dead, yes. It was on. Yeah. I think I remember playing it on the Wii. Always forgetting like what <laughs> which cursor you were. Oh, let's yeah. see if I can make it. Oh, I think that I... Yep, I can't get you. I'll just drink my beer. <laughs> In all fairness, I don't think I was that great at this game mode to begin with. I think I sort of excel when I can make my character like with the skill selections and things like that so going into the game with like zero customization on your character and i'm missing my pet which is like 50 percent of my damage anyway uh everybody's on this on an equal level on this game game mode i heavily rely on help from my pet <laughs> <laughs> he is my crutch Yeah, yeah. You got it. Speaking of games we used to play. So next week, since it is our anniversary, our wedding anniversary, we're going to play some retro games. Like super retro games. I don't get that. When I say super retro, I'm like... My favorite game of all time. We're playing bubble ball. Oh, I'm gonna lose. No, no. no. Oh, you almost had him. <laughs> that was so close. Use the blindfold option. Blindfold option. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Did you finish your beer? Almost. Almost. It's good. Good beer. Is it? And we're gonna jump back. It didn't taste as much like a Hefeweizen as I expected it to. I gotta agree with you right there. Vegas Brew, you, you have this too, don't you? Do you feel like it tasted like a Hefeweizen? Maybe at first, but I don't... I feel like it's a little bit hoppier. It was more... Yeah. It tasted similar to an IPA would taste. That's what I was thinking, too, because, what is it? Simcoe, Amarillo, Citra, and got Galaxy Hops. Like, I, yeah, again, yeah, Vegas Brew. Tastes, Tastes like, like an, an IPA. IPA. Yep. Yep. And when you have all of these other hops added into it, I, I don't think that traditionally a Hefeweizen has this much hops or variations of hops maybe it's oh. just me maybe i don't know my beer again though it's it is a collaboration that like they it. are making something new it's a 2.0 so and yeah. and you see a lot of breweries making ipas nowadays so that yes. could also be one of the reasons why we do taste a lot of the hoppiness um, because like i said breweries are leaning more towards some of the ipas um, but, don't, but don't don't 
label it as a Hefeweizen if it's... I mean, there's no banana. There's no clove. It looks like a Hefeweizen when you're looking at, you know... Yep, Vegas Brew agreed with you. No banana or clove. No banana or clove. Yep, see? I got you. We're on the same page. Yeah, that's... the Those traditional flavors of a hefeweizen for me are missing and i think if you're gonna label this a hefeweizen i need some more of those flavors i agree like, i'm o i'm okay with it going okay banana and passion fruit or uh you know some other things but the citrus a twist banana, okay yeah, definitely yeah, adding okay a twist it. but when it tastes this poppy i you just can't maybe you started out trying to make it a hefe but at the end, when you taste it again, as a as a brewer, you need to go, you know what? Maybe we meant to make this a Hefeweizen, but it's tasting like an AP IPA or whatever. I, It's not a Hefeweizen. No, I agree. I, I totally agree with you. Now, I was super excited when I first smelled it because of that passion fruit. <laughs> yeah. Scent, scent. But again, a lot of beers... A lot of beers um, have a taste or a smell, yeah. but then the taste doesn't translate the same way. Yeah. Now, <laughs> this can of beer was not the cheapest can of beer I've ever had either. And uh, Vegas Brew, although they put hop in the front, tastes like stash panda. Ash panda? <laughs> a fat panda? <laughs> stash panda? Stash panda? Do you mean panda? <laughs> Have you been eating pandas, Vegas Brew? <laughs> pandas are not for eating. Although they put hop in the front, tastes like stash panda. I think he's talking about the other um, stash something. Yeah, so no. Um, sad. I'm a I'm a big Hefeweizen lover, and because this isn't what I was expecting from this drink, but by Bubble Stash, oh, oh Stash Panda by Bubble Stash. I I was like I feel like Stash is the type of beer, the beer maker. Okay. Um. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I would gotta say like a two point seven five. Two point seven five, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just, when you tell me Hefeweizen, there are some key qualities I need to see, and I didn't see it here. I agree. Um, but you know what? It's not a bad tasting beer either. Yeah, but it's like, I was in the mood for a Hefe and not an IPA. It, it, I, I feel like it's, it has the hints of an IPA, but does not have that big drop that an IPA usually has. So I, 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 am I too harsh? No, I think you're okay. Um, again, like you said, you are expecting when you read Hep, uh, Hefeweizen, you were mm -hmm. expecting the banana or the clove, um, or a little yeah. bit in between, um, with this beer, you really don't get that a whole lot. You do yeah. taste the hoppiness. And like, again, it is a collaboration. Oh, yeah. Um, and, you know, maybe it's their collaboration, which makes it that hoppiness. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, or, you know, maybe they were just getting creative. Um, uh, there, I was reading something from, I believe it was, yeah, Omnipolo. It's an equal partnership between a brewer and an artist. The brewer, um, Honic Fenty and the the artist is Carl Grandin and it it mentions in their about us section that they're just there to try out really cool new things so I don't necessarily think that they set out on creating their beers with something in mind I think just like whatever comes about comes about mm -hmm. so maybe that's part of it and maybe that that played into a little bit of how it didn't taste exactly like true. a a typical a heavy. yeah a typical yeah. happy wise and that's true. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm right with you. Um, I would also give it probably a two seven five. Um, just because, it, like yeah. you said, you weren't expecting that 
copy taste mm -hmm. um to be so prominent uh yeah. it just i i was definitely expecting a lot out of this out of this beer just because it is a you know it's like a recreation mm -hmm. of something from um yeah. back in the day and I'd really love to get my hands on the Nakin that they made six years ago to mm -hmm. compare it to the Nakin of now. Correct. To see, okay, so what changed? Was the Nakin six years ago like a true Hefeweizen taste? Or was it sort of a similar vibe? That would be really interesting to see. I agree. No, I definitely yeah. agree. I want to see um, definitely if, you know, if the original tasted like a Hefe. Or just, you know, yeah. if there was any banana or, or clove taste to it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to have to have a little bit of a uh, a search party for a six-year-old beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hard thing, too, with beers is it's like when they're done, they're done. You know what, though? Like, there, I, I was also reading an article the other day is that <laughs> some people feel that some beers, um, just like wine, get better with age. Now, oh, yeah. I don't know if that's for all types of beer. No, it's not. But again... You know maybe there are i mean i mean i know we've shared a couple with your dad um you know that you know i i wouldn't have never known if the beer was better or worse you know yeah if, so I, I mean that might be a thing that we might have to try one of these days is save a beer for a couple of years and you know see how taste another you know they call it sell, uh, to cellar a beer, like you would cellar wines. Mm -hmm. And what they suggest is you say get a six pack of a beer. Um, usually if the beer is boozier to begin with, it has like a high alcohol content, uh, much like the Woot Stout. Right. Like, like the Woot Stout is a perfect example of a beer that you could cellar. Um, it, you, you, you put them to the side. Correct. And then after six months, you try one of them and you go, okay. Here's my six month. Or maybe you open one at the beginning when you first buy it. Mm -hmm. Then six months, then a year, and then maybe every year after that uh, to compare how the flavors can change. Because right. sometimes um, there are some flavors that might be incredibly subtle, but then because of the science exactly. that happens when you sell or an item, uh, another flavor will sort of come through that is more prominent right during the selling now process. vegas brew also yeah. says yep. that usually the stronger the percentage of the beer it does you know make a big yeah. difference yep. and it, exactly it, and i agree with you it you know there's a lot of the beers that are barrel aged or you know um brewed with whiskey barrels i, I yep. think those type of beers are the ones that possibly maybe get better um uh, just like you know they age whiskey um mm -hmm. or bourbon i think those are the type of beers i think possibly get better with age yeah, uh, like a Pilsner, probably not going to have a huge difference if you cellar it. Uh, sour beers might not be a good play on a cellar um, situation. Uh, it really just depends on the makeup of the beer, too, when you consider, like, the acids and other things involved in your beer. So, yeah, cellaring is, is a cool thing to do if you have that self-control <laughs> yeah i agree I, I for me it's it's a curiosity thing too and sometimes you know i'm not always getting enough of a certain kind of beer to be able to sell it no i agree i, I totally agree with you yeah. um and like i said there is there are um a lot of a handful of these beers that you know you can yeah. only get a handful of them you know yeah. every once in a while you just want to try it yeah yeah I, I when when we have that opportunity to get more of those beers cellaring is totally an option yeah you can almost say that the woot stout was cellared i mean it was a 2018 and what year is it now 2021 it was kept in a good enough condition that it was able to be enjoyed so many years later so i agree but, but what did the 2018 taste like in 2018 i don't know true yeah, so what I'm describing of that Woot Stout is may, might not be what it was in 2018. Yeah, that's yeah, true. that's a good conversation to have. I think cellaring beer is is like a whole other. Yeah, thing. and yeah. that's definitely yeah. definitely <laughs> we'll keep our eyes out to see if we find any other beers like that. So. Yeah, most definitely. So what do you think? Uh, did we have a good stream tonight? Did you enjoy um, <laughs> <laughs> the outcome of the game, or you oh. know? Are, 
Are you excited for next week? Yes and yes. I well, mm, I didn't get anything good from the game. That's that's to be clear. But you know, it was fun to pick up a game I haven't played in a little while. Ooh. Rayman dropped his beer glass. <laughs> it was empty. It was empty. And it did not break. That is a quality item to have in the cabinet. Gosh, not a crack or not anything, a crack. Huh? We'll have to check that later. Whoa. <laughs> that was good stuff. Okay. Hey. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> <laughs> He's just throwing <laughs> glasses. <laughs> Drunk Drunk already. Double glass. drop. <laughs> Uh, how funny <laughs> oh, oh gosh well i feel like we had a really interesting beer conversation today i, I would I say so about you guys yeah so again today we enjoyed the winter coat from stormbreaker brewing out of portland oregon and we also enjoyed the knack in from the collaboration of omnipolo uh, Siren Craft Brew and Casita Brewing Company from Stockholm, Sweden. Oh, Walkingham, United Kingdom, and Farmville, North Carolina, respectively. <laughs> Vegas. I had to look at my notes a couple times there. Vegas Brew One says, "No worry, got plenty of glasses for you." <laughs> <laughs> Why do I not doubt that for a minute? <laughs> Oh, gosh. Yeah, so good beers today. I mean, for the most part, they were pretty good. Um, but thank you. Thanks, guys, for popping in. Thanks for joining us. We hope you had fun and that you got to hang out and just relax for a little bit with us. Talk beer, talk game. And next week, I cannot wait to spend some time with you. We've already put up one of the beers on our about us section we're going to be enjoying the big dogs year of the dog anniversary right. blend now we are gonna try and um you know look for a beer for the second one um possibly that mm -hmm. um viewers can also you know find in in the stores near themselves mm -hmm. um hopefully at least that way they can try it along with us uh, we're gonna tr mm -hmm. be, you know trying to put along um some of the beers ahead of time so that way um like I said, we get a little bit more um, people tasting the exact same beers and give us a little feedback of what they're tasting. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to look for another anniversary beer. I'm going to try to go to Astronomy L Works and try to get their anniversary beer. Very fun. Yeah. I'm excited. Well, guys, thank you for hanging out with us over at Game... Wow. Wow. Brood wow. for Gaming. Wow. I don't even know our name. Brood for Gaming. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with us today at Brood for Gaming. <laughs> again, <laughs> again, I'm Buggies. And, and I'm Rayman. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And you guys have a good rest of your afternoon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We're falling apart here, man.